Hey everyone, Alexis Avila of Prepped and Polish LLC here in South Natick, Massachusetts, and thank you for joining me today. So you may have heard that there's changes coming to the ACT in uh, 2015, but don't worry, there are not many changes that will happen to the test itself. It's more to do with the way that the scores are reported. First, let's look at the minor tweaks that will happen to the test itself. So here are three things that will change on the test itself. On the essay, you will now be asked to evaluate multiple perspectives on a complex issue and generate analysis based on reasoning, knowledge, and experience. On the math, expect some more probability and statistics questions. And on the reading, instead of answering questions that pertain to just one passage, some of the reading questions will now ask you to answer questions based on two passages. Okay, not so bad, right? So those are some small changes that you'll see on the test itself. Now, how will the section scores change? Well, only in the way uh, in the, they'll help you as you apply to college. So the score will still be from a one to a 36, but now there'll be more expanded section scores. So let's look at five changes to the expanded section scores. Here are five changes to the section scores. Number one, math and science will now combine to create what is called a STEM score. And the STEM score is, will show colleges how well you perform in science, technology, engineering, and math. Change number two is your English reading and writing scores will be combined to create an English language score. Change three is a brand new score called the Progress Toward Career Readiness Score will be given to help measure how well you will perform in the workplace. And you will not have any additional sections or questions for this. Instead, the score will be determined by the existing sections. And change four, the test complexity progress indicator score that was previously just on the reading section will now be given for all writing passages. Finally, new scores will be available for those who take the optional writing test. Instead of just getting an overall score, you'll also get scores on ideas and analysis, development and support, organization, and language use. Okay, I know that sounds like a lot, but don't sweat it because these expanded section scores will only help colleges get a fuller idea of you as a student. So just focus on your prep and everything will take care of itself. And remember, also in 2015, the ACT goes digital. Select states will begin offering this option, but you can still opt to take the ACT on paper. In 2016, the ACT will be available online throughout the country. Okay guys, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot us an email at info at preppedandpolished.com. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I wish you the best of luck on your ACT coming up. I'll talk to you soon.